Hi everyone! Welcome to Pink Fresh Friday and welcome to my channel where there's no wrong way to play with paper. I hope you're having a good day. I really do. Um, Pink Fresh Friday I do with my scrappy pals and all of those wonderful creators who are also playing with Pink Fresh are in the description of this video. So be sure to check them out for sure. Um, basically we pay, play with only Pink Fresh products to create some kind of project. For me, it's a scrapbooking layout. So um, everyone will be using something different, but they will only be playing with Pink Fresh. So I hope you enjoy it. I've really enjoyed it. For me, all year long, I am scrapbooking my larger photos that I normally used to hang on the wall as decor. Well, now they're in a box and I don't want them in a box. I want them in my album. So um, usually they're five by seven, eight by 10 um, photos. Today we're going to do an eight by 10 of my husband and I from way back in 2000 and I believe it was eight, 2008. Yeah. <laughs> I think Jill was like three months old or something. And we have had very few photos taken of just him and I. This is one of them. And so we're going to just have at it. Now, when I'm scrapbooking these large photos, I really don't have to do a lot because the photo takes up the room. But we want to highlight it. So we will add some embellishments. So I'm going to mat it. I'm using Pink Fresh. Let's see. I have two papers here. I have Pink Fresh um good times and this one is also good times i'm going to be using the teal side and i'm going to mat my photo here on i just kind of eyeball it y'all i i'm not a perfectionist like <laughs> if you're new then i'm sorry i'm, I'm not a teacher I'm just never girl old chick out in the middle of the desert <laughs> so we're just gonna mat it real quick because these layouts don't take as long I try really hard to kind of show you my process a little bit which I always don't get time to do so I honestly not that I don't have time to do it I just I don't know I, I usually come up with a base before I even start filming it just it works for me so we gotta do what works for us I need to cut the branding strip off of here this one has a little boo-boo I'm, I'm not sure why but that's okay and I did pull out this strip too we'll just Start playing and see what happens. Cut the branding strip off. Ta-da. Now, one thing about Pink Fresh, I wish I mean, we can't really save these. I mean, I guess if it had a sentiment, I would use, but yeah, it'll end up in the trash. So there's that. You could save it maybe to um, like when you're making embellishments or something. Oh, maybe we should do it diagonal. Oh, I like that. Do I want it that way or do I want it this way? I kind of like it that way. Okay, well, let's just do it. And then I got to find, I got to, <laughs> there's some grammar for you. I'm going to find a title. I pulled out a few things. Um, Let's see here. I've got anything is possible, which I do like. That's cute. You are my happy. I really, really love that. And this is a sweet memory for me. I, you know, been married a long time. So my photos with him are sweet. They are make me happy in general. We have Create Sweet. This is um, Lovely Blooms by Pink Fresh. I bought not that long ago. I could do Love You. Could just do Happy. Hmm. I've told the story of how I met my husband before on the layout. So I don't think I need to do that. My husband and I met online. I actually met his mother and his sister first. And then him and I started talking. And before you knew it, we were together. It took two years, but we did it, by golly. Um, I think I like, I, I think I like You Are My Happy. I keep kind of going back and forth, but let's let's start with that. He is definitely, I was not looking to be in a relationship when I met my husband. I'm just going to play while I talk. Um, this is Pink Fresh. I think it's odds and ends ephemera, but it says someday. So we'll see. And then I have this Spring Vibes. I do have some florals. We'll see if we get there. I want to kind of use up some of these other elements that I have. Um, yeah, when I met him, I was totally content being single. I was a single mom with kids, and I did not want a man in my life. <laughs> if you can relate, you can relate. 
So, um, it was meant to be, um, telling you God puts who he wants in your life. You just have to be willing to accept it and, um, receive whatever it is he has in store for you, right? Oh, look, there's a little lunch bag. I'm just kind of sorting through my ephemera and having some fun with this. So let's see here. Here's another little sprig. Maybe we could go like this and then, or we could go like this, kind of like that. I kind of bent it. Oh, I gave it a boo-boo. All right, so we could go like that. You are my happy. Do I want something over here? Maybe. Just gonna trial and error things. We're gonna try a few things and see if they work. If they don't, well, then I guess we won't use them. Let's see. Okay, let's pull out these, because I don't have, it's a lot of mix and matching. And I'm not in love with this. So let's try something else. So this is a different vibe. So I'm just gonna pull this out and maybe try some of these. Kind of like this here. I'd have to find a sentiment. Could go this route. Sometimes I struggle just because, you know, it's such a large photo and I'm used to having things to work around. You gotta, gotta work around whatever is here. See, if I go this route, I feel like this title doesn't work. Maybe we could try this one instead. Anything is possible. Oh no, we keep on trial and error. Hey, happy, hello, we could do happy. Okay, let's try happy. Okay, I have happy all cut out and we can try this one here. I like that. What should we do here? Maybe even tuck that in. So let's find some more yellow elements. Maybe we're gonna end up with teal and yellow. That would work too. Maybe do this one up here. Okay. Let's see what else we have for yellow. We have this one. Eh, not really feeling that. I have this one. Oh, it's just a different vibe, right? You would think they would have more of the same vibe. I do like that, but. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so we have a few different elements here. I don't even know if I, I want this one in there. You know, I see this scrap off to the side. What if, because it does somewhat match this, what if we were to maybe anchor this down here and then take the other half of this and anchor it up over there just to give it a little bit more to the eye. So let's fold it in half. I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try. <laughs> we're gonna try. All right, so we're gonna cut it in half. And we could ink it. That would help as well. We'll go just like this. We'll slide it under the photo even. Have just a little bit more interest. Now the end, I will just snip off. Like once I glue it down, I can snip it off that edge. Then we'll put this here and we'll slide this. No, I want it on top, just like that. There we go, just like that. Okay, there's that side. Then if we take this one, we can put it this way. And again, we'll go under the photo, just mimic it. Let's see, did it go, it went like this. So just like that. And then we just need a little sentiment right there. That's really cool, okay. <laughs> Do you like how I talked myself into it? Um, so let me find a sentiment of some kind. Let's see, we wanna stay with this guilty pleasure. Oh, my husband is my guilty pleasure. And it does match really well, actually. It brings that color. Should we go? I kind of like it right there. That's all right. And then I could put some gems. Um, I will find my pink fresh glitter dots little bits. We could do that. 
Okay, so I found my um, glitter drops from Pink Fresh, my yellow ones, and I'm going to use those to put little centers in the flower. I might even adjust this and bring this up so we can do, you know, more of it, have little glitter gems in there. And I'll come back, I'm gonna ink a few things with some ink, and we'll see what we can come up with for a layout. I'll come back with a finished layout, hang in there. All right, you guys, I figured it out. So I have a completed layout. Inking, again, saved the day. I did add the enamel dots, my glitter drim drops here, and I did add some black enamel dots. They're not pink fresh, forgive me, but I did add those. Um, lots of fun. I inked everything, even the florals. You'll probably see glue drying in the close-ups. You know, sometimes doing these larger photos is hard, and I think I made it harder by putting it to the, you know, crooked, crooked. <laughs> And I made it a little bit harder on myself, but it's different. I'm getting tired of the same layouts, you know, but I I hope you enjoy it. I hope you're inspired to pull out those larger photos. I hope you pull out your pink fresh. Go check out the other ladies. They are very talented. Thanks for hanging out with me. Be blessed, and I will talk to you later. Bye.